You are about to listen to the message from Pastor Dr. Alfred Hajifowe, the General Overseer of Evangelical Christ Apostolic Church. Prepare your mind to receive from the Lord. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. We thank God Almighty for this Sunday once more again. So you know we have been discussing about good success and children of God. So today, briefly, I want to discuss with us about depending on God for success. Depend on God for success. I will say it again. Depend on God for success. Let me tell you, children of God. God is the owner of success. And he gives to whosoever that pleases him. So if you really want a success, you must learn how to depend on God for success. So as children of God, we need to depend on on God. If we can do that, we will not be running up and down. By running uh, from pillar to post. So, you don't need that. You only need to know God, who is the owner of sources in life. Because he gives to whosoever that pleases him. According to the book of uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 40, the last verse, that's verse 31, that says, they that shall wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. So children of God, come unto God. Because if you really know God and you depend on God, He will never let you die. So you don't need to depend on human beings. Stop looking at the human being. Human being cannot solve your problem. Because human being, why well, you should not even depend on human being? Human beings are limited. We are limited on things. So there's limited things that human being can do for you. But God can do all things. You know why? As you will depend on God. Because uh, He owns our life. He owns everything. Psalm 24, verse 1, He will tell us that the earth is the, the Lord, and, fun, and the, the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell uh, therein. So because of this, everything, let me tell you, children of God, uh, in this world, uh, it, uh, is in the hands of God. Even though both we, as uh, uh, human beings, we are in the hands of God. We, we need to depend on Him. When we depend on Him, he will never let us that. You don't need to depend on human beings. Human beings are limited. Because God Almighty owns heaven and earth. Because the eyes of God is watching you and I. He knows everything. Stop looking up and down. Stop looking for human being help than the, the help of God. The help of God will give you peace and joy. Psalm 27, verse 1. Boast not thyself. Of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what day, what a day may bring forth. So, children of God, never you depend on yourself or on any human being. Never you boast of yourself. Depend on God, and God Almighty will surely help you in all areas of your life. Ah, uh, we don't know any human being on earth that can, you know, create things, that can make things happen without the help of God. So because human beings, we are limited. So don't depend on human beings who are limited. Depend on God who knows everything from the beginning to the end. He's the only one that can make you to be rich in life, to, to have success. So, so many people are looking for success and the original success is from God. Who owns it? Who allows it? If he doesn't allow success in someone's life, there is nothing he can do for him to be, succeed, uh, to, be to, to be successful in life. But if he allow it, no matter how enemy you know wake up against that person, that person will succeed. And I pray that among the people that will succeed uh, as children of God, God will catch you and I to be among those who succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. So, success is, is, you know, is the food of, of, of the children of God. 
And also I pray that we succeed, you will make success in all the areas of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, children of God. And that is why man can never, uh, you know, no success unless God reveal unto uh, to him or for him to be, to, to be successful. Unless God himself reveal unto him or her that this is the way how to make success in life. Without God's help, you cannot make any success in life. Because we look at the, the life of our father Abraham. If you see the, the story of Father Abraham, God Almighty showed him, he promised him, he, he, you know, he took him from his own father's house to another country, to another land, for, to somewhere that he had never been before. And God promised him success. And God fulfilled the, the, the promise that he had promised him. And you know, the promise of that success make this, you know, the, the, the promise of God after the death of Father Abraham. A pastor, his son called Isaac, from Isaac to Jacob. You know, all these people they make us say, when people are grumbling, when people are crying, these people are you know are making us say because uh because of the, uh, the obedience of Abraham that he passed to Isaac and that Isaac too passed to uh, to Jacob. So for you to make success. In life, you know, you need to follow the example of these people that were made mention because they they obey God and God Almighty, you know, do their own. And the same God is still doing it. He can still do it. Look at what the, the, the promise of God for uh, uh, King David. God Almighty promised King David that uh, he will he, he will continue uh, the, the, the uh, you know the descendant will continue to be king in Israel. So. Look at we have Jesus Christ. He came out from from the line of line of uh, of David. So the promise of God still come to fulfillment up to today. So children of God, God will never deny His own children good success. So for you to make good success in life, you must know God. You must obey Him. As these people that we may mention, as uh, you know, as an example of those people that God blessed, that God Almighty, may, you know, empower to be successful. So may God Almighty empower you and I to be a successful someone in life. In the mighty name of Jesus. So success uh, comes from God. Success comes from God, not from idol, not from any uh, satanic ways, not from a uh, any double means so success come from God. So stop running up and down. Stop running from uh, pole to post. Stop it. Enough is enough. You know, uh, using fellow human beings for for, for, for this year because you want to be a successful someone. Stop it. Come unto God, the owner of heaven and earth, who can make you to be a successful person in life. So look at uh, what Psalm seventy five. Uh, verses 6 and 7 says, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He who turned down one and seated up another. Look at that. So, we, we only need to come to him. He's the only one who can establish you. He's the only one that you know, connect you to your own benefactors, to your own uh, destiny helper. He's the only one who knows your destiny helper. You don't know, you don't know them. But God knows them. He can connect you. You can if you only need to know God. If you really know God, He will let you know what to do, and then, you know He will connect you to your benefactors. So, children of God, good success we make. You know, uh, is only through God, not through any other means. So stop deceiving yourself. Eh? So you only need to dedicate your, you know, your life unto God. Stop and uh, depend on human being because our God will promote you according to his love. Because God loves his own children and he will promote his own. I pray that your own promotion will come up in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be part of the people that will testify to the power of God this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, what we need to do as man, the only thing to do as man for us to be successful is for, is for us to 
you know, to, to obey him. When we obey God, we will see that uh, uh, joyful things, elevation, will be a portion uh, as children of God. So when we look at uh, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verses, um, verse 1, that says, uh, It shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, uh, which I command, um, I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set free on, uh, will set thee on the high above all the nations of the earth. You know, the people that did not obey God, you know their story from the Bible. You, re you remember King Saul, you know, because he disobeyed God. And God removed him, he replaced him. Don't let God remove you. Because every soul must be very careful. God has David to replace. So you remember the Gadesa? Who reproached God? God proved himself, showed his power upon him, which is as powerful as that king was as at that time. God pulled him down, and he knew that God is God. Because Without taking form of zoology, God sent him to the wilderness for seven years because he disobeyed God. You know, so children of God, don't disobey God. Don't let God reject you because if God rejects you, no one can save you. So because of this, children of God, just obey and success will be yours. Success will be yours as children of God. So God bless you. It is well with you in Jesus' name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Almighty God our Father, as we discuss with your children, that you are the only one that can make someone uh, to be successful. Lord, power to obey you for your word to come to fulfillment in our, in our life. Daddy, give us that power, that anointing in the name of Jesus. Help us, Holy Spirit, empower, uh, empower us. So shall it be. Let your word be meaningful and give us grace to stay in your word, not to disobey in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you. See you next Sunday. Bye for now. We believe that this message has blessed your life. Remember, only the doers of the world shall be blessed. For more information, you can visit our website on www.ecsconline.org. You can like our Facebook page at ECSC Worldwide. Also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at ECSC Worldwide. God bless you. Generation.